Warning. Incoming Mark What Tech Rambling. Viewers be aware. Hey, what's going on guys? I hope you're all well and have been enjoying your weekend. So I just wanted to put together a little video to share what it's been like for my first week of YouTube. So at the beginning of the year, January 1st, 2021, I thought, let's give it a go at trying to create some video content and blog posts and just be more active on the forums helping out. So I put out my little intro video explaining what I kind of wanted to talk about and cover in my channel and people seem to enjoy it. I created a post on the Home Assistant forum just detailing what I was trying to do, that I was going to create a channel um, to share video content with guides on Home Assistant and Smart Tech and that I'd also probably do some blog posts. And yeah, people really liked the idea. I had lots of people that were new or just starting their smart home journey, especially after Christmas, and they just said that they were interested to follow me and see where I went. And within a few hours, I'd hit 100 subscribers and... I think it was like in 24 hours, I was up to 300 subscribers. So yeah, I started getting a small following. Um, at the time of recording this, I'm currently on 451 subscribers um, with eight videos out. And so far I've put out a few guides just detailing mainly the Home Assistant setup um, in a couple of different ways. With those guides that I've put out so far, I've tried to keep them somewhat entertaining. Um, I mean, I know it's just pretty boring to sit there and listen to someone just monotone and drone on about how to, you know, set up your Raspberry Pi and whatever. So I have tried to keep them, you know, a bit lighthearted and entertaining. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, it's, I've done it. I've tried to, I've tried to keep a, a balance with it, really. Like, you don't want it to be too goofy, but at the same time, you don't want it to just be dead boring. So, yeah, I don't know. The feedback so far, I think people have enjoyed it. Um I tried to listen to everything that everyone's had to say about uh, my content and how I've produced it. I think definitely for me, my confidence with speaking to a camera has like shot up loads, especially when you go from having say zero subscribers and you're just talking to a camera, like kind of hoping someone's listening to actually having a little following and, you know, having people give you feedback and then watch your next video and say, oh yeah, I, I, I see you did that thing that I said, like that was really good or not so good. I don't know, it it just makes it a bit more of a of a conversation. So yeah, definitely improve there. Uh the next thing, production wise, um I've I've tried to up my production a little bit, um, just make it a bit more visually better. <laughs> I did actually buy a new web camera at the beginning of the week. Um which video was it? I think it was when I did the D seven. It might have been that one. Was it that one? I can't remember. No, I lied. It was when I did the quick install uh, for Home Assistant in two minutes. Um, yeah, so as I was saying, I bought a new web camera. Um, I used it for that video. And then when I was going through the footage, I noticed that there was like a bit of jitter and like the image just wasn't wasn't right. And I think what happened just throughout the recording, the camera was just getting hot and it was just affecting it. And when I say hot, I do literally mean like take an egg out, crack it, cook your egg on it hot. So if you've got any webcam recommendations, hit me up. So yeah, up to that point, that camera seemed all right. It was 1080p, um, so it was a bit better quality. But if you're not happy with something, then you're not happy. So yeah, I just sent that back instantly and we went back to using the old camera. And then for the rest of the week, I've just shot those videos with this camera. Um, I mean, yeah, it's not the best. I keep smacking the microphone. That's something else that I, I keep doing. Uh, it's not the best, but it's, I don't know, it's all right. It, it'll do for now. Um, I, I will upgrade it in the future probably sooner future than future future my audio that's another production one that i feel i've improved on a bit um i say i've improved on it i did actually just record this whole video like there it is above without any sound yeah the microphone was muted so i did this whole video twice for fun <laughs> still learning still improving still playing around with things seeing what works like tech wise but the main thing is is i'm enjoying it uh, I'm doing my hobby and I'm getting to share that hobby and I'm also helping people out. I've had lots of people messaging me just saying thank you for the content and thank you for helping them out um, like on the forums and stuff. And that's always nice like when you when you do something or create something and it helps somebody else. And then my last sort of production gripe that I have is still probably my lighting. Um, so we're currently sat in my dining room. Um, but I'm just like I'm limited to space. 
and with working from home with the whole covid my desk and everything is all sort of stationed here um i'm a bit limited to what i can do with the light in um i have had a go um i will still keep tinkering about see if i can get anything better but i think it's better than it was glasses glare that is another big like production annoyance that i have at the minute like just the, the constant like glare off these glasses so i have that like um reflective layer um because i'm on the computer all day so the blue light reflection but you just see it like constantly is there a good way to resolve that i'm sure it's probably just better placing of your lights but yeah if, if you know how to resolve that just hit me a line below and let's get rid of this blueness <laughs> Regardless to that, I'll keep trying to improve my production value. Um, just, just get everything, you know, just nicer. Just scrub it all up and just have have a, a higher quality caliber of video, I guess. And yeah, if, if people are enjoying it, it's just more of a, a motivation to keep going with it and just keep rolling. So I'm gonna just quickly touch on content and just talk about some of my plans and ideas that I have for this channel. I'll quickly just say a couple of ideas and plans that I have for this channel and we'll try and keep this a short video. I mean, I have recorded this already because yeah, I clicked the mute button on the microphone on accident. I'm going to keep going with the home assistant stuff. So I'm going to carry on with the home assistant basics. Um, and my plan for that is to just build up this set of basic tutorials where new people can follow along all the people that have messaged me and spoke to me saying that they've just started with it and they're enjoying seeing where it goes um it's going to be for those kind of people um get them going get get them learning home assistant as well and also more advanced home assistant things so if you're more advanced and you're past these this basic level um there will be stuff there for you as well I'm also going to dive into the more intricate parts of Home Assistant, probably show off my Home Assistant setup. Um, yeah, lots of Home Assistant stuff. But then I also want to look into different um, types of smart tech that you can have in your home. Um, probably do some reviews and contrasts with that. One little idea I have as um, like a, I don't know, I guess it would kind of be like a little series. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll say it's a series. So the idea of this series is um basically i'm going to pick a topic and then talk about this thing like in a sort of low level high level mix um so that somebody that didn't know about it they would watch this thing and then they they would they would know about it or they would know you know a, a bit of detail or enough detail about that particular thing to be able to say talk about it okay i'm rambling i know and when i say a topic i mean say things that I've spoke about in some of my um, tutorials currently. So say uh, one of the topics could be SSH and it will just be like a really short, maybe three or four minutes about SSH, just explaining say what it is, what it does, use cases, that kind of a thing. So you could pick a topic you were interested in and then just, just learn a bit about it. And then you, you know, you'd be like, ah, oh, I know what that thing is. I've watched this little video, but yeah, just short topics and bits of content about them. And that would just be like a little, series and then also that will help me in future videos because i can just reference that thing i can say hey you want to know what an integration is i did a little video on that and you know yeah it might work i mean i like the idea of that it like makes some of the terminology more understandable especially for new people or people that say aren't maybe as tech savvy or you know up to date on the lingo i have asked a couple of people what they think about this idea and they've all said yeah that would be like interesting and super helpful so yeah, maybe we'll give that a go. Let me know what you think of that idea. Is that something you'd be interested in? Um, yeah, if it, and if it is, what what kind of topic would you want me to go over? So I'm going for like a short topic or just like a, a one thing. So say, um, I don't know, what is SSL? What is NFC? That, you know, that kind of a thing. So home assistant stuff, smart home tech stuff, maybe some reviews and contrast, and then this like little series thing. And that's that's my sort of idea for, for content and whatever so far. I do have a small roadmap planned out in my my head. But again, I'm going to be following feedback and just, you know, seeing what you guys want, what you're interested in, and try and mix that with what I'm also interested in. And just create and deliver content in that form, really. 452 now. And I'm close to my first ever 1K view video pretty cool okay so i'm gonna wrap this up now and this is gonna be my kind of apple one more moment thing 
Um, so tomorrow, uh, Monday the 11th, at about half nine tomorrow, um, I'm going to be doing a live stream with Geo from Smart Home Makers. And I'm going to be doing kind of like a little uh, Q&A interview type thing, um, just having a chat with him um, just about smart home tech and home assistant. So if you're interested in that, I'll leave a link in the description below. It's 9.35 tomorrow. Um, yeah, join, come say hello. Hear me rabble on probably a bit more. <laughs> And just again, massive thank you to everyone that's given me some support this week, um, that's, you know, left me some feedback or just some nice comments. I really do appreciate it. And it's just, it's, it's nice, isn't it? Like doing your hobby, sharing it with people. And yeah, it's nice. <laughs> it's been really nice to sort of just become part of this community and just expand. If you are new here and you want to hear more of me rabbling on or checking out some of my other guides, then subscribe below. It's free. If you are interested in these videos, give me a follow on the various social medias. I'll be doing things like asking questions about content and things like that for future videos. Um, and it'll be a nice place to get some feedback there too. Let me know in the comments what you think about what I've talked about, my plans and ideas. Do you agree? Do you disagree? What would you like to see me do? What kind of content would you like to see me cover? If you're interested in that live stream, I'll probably catch you tomorrow night. And if not, I'll hopefully catch you in the next video. Cheers.